You might wonder, what is this delicious beverage I'm drinking that has a Corona upside down in it? Crazy looking, isn't it? Stay tuned and find out. Hi, I'm Eric, and it's a, this is an idiot and his liquor. Today I'm making a very popular drink that a lot of people, uh, they come to the site. When I run EpicDrinkRecipes.com, it was initially a site just for recipes. The Corona Rita is by far, literally hundreds more visits per month to the Corona Rita page than any other page on this site. For a long time, the Corona Rita page actually got more hits than the homepage itself. So, I'm just going to go over the ingredients that you're going to need real quick for it. Uh, you just need your basic tequila. Try and get one that's 100% uh, blue agave. I have triple sec here. Uh, you can use Cointreau if you want, but since we're adding the beer to it, I'm just going with triple sec. And I have a half a lime here that I'm going to use for some lime juice. And don't forget you need your 7 ounce Coronita. I had to buy a whole case of them because they don't sell them in six packs here. And they're actually kind of hard to find around the mountains. They must not must not be a lot of rednecks out there making uh, Coronitas or Coronaritas, I should say. Also, uh, you can buy these. They're the clips, the clips that go on to mine is for a slanted glass. You can buy blue ones that I'll link to in the description that are for glasses that are straight up and down. So, we're going to start off with this drink. I'm going to use half my lime, and I'm going to squeeze it into my shaker, which is halfway full of ice. Get some of this stuff out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So, I'll take that and I'll squeeze it in there. This is going to yield about a half ounce to an ounce. Uh, it's not really 100% particular there. I'm also going to pour an ounce and a half of tequila. And we're going to use one ounce, I'm sorry, a half ounce, half ounce of triple sec. Once we have the lime juice, the triple sec, and everything in there, I'm going to add in two more ounces of my homemade sour mix. Uh, there's going to be a link to that popping up on the page if you want to find out how to make homemade sour mix. You can also use uh, the store-bought. Highly recommend using the homemade. So now that all that's in the shaker, full of ice, we're going to give that a nice shake. Sure you shake that really nice and hard because if you're especially if you're using fresh mix because that juice really needs to be blended in well so I might add that uh, if you choose to salt the rim of this run a lime around the top and salt the rim you can I did not do that in this case because I'll be drinking it from a straw so I kind of found it unnecessary so strain that in there make sure that if you're getting a little too much eggs, kind of leave some room because you're going to be adding the Corona. You want to throw that clip on there. We're going to crack open the Coronita. And I did it the first time without spilling it. Let's see if I can do it this time. All right. Success yet again. As you can see, like I said, it fills up completely. And uh, basically what's going on here is there's a little bit of suction going on there, pretty much. And the Corona in the bottle is trapped. That's what keeps it from overflowing. Uh, I'll be putting a link to the article on that, just uh, in case you want to find more out about that. But that's why you can get away with not spilling beer everywhere. I'm going to put a lime garnish on that. And... That is how you make a Corona Rita drink. So let's try this out and see how well I did. Um, 
it's a really good mix. You know, and I, a traditional margarita doesn't have sour mix. A traditional margarita is just uh, tequila, lime juice, and Cointreau. I like to add the sour mix in here because I think it balances well with the beer itself. It's a nice combination. It's an interesting drink. And, you know, it's just overall, it's something I think that if you're having a party, it really gets people talking. It's really cool. And uh, it definitely has that extra thing to it. Uh, it's a good flavor combination. And a lot of people like it. A lot of people really enjoy it. It is a nice mix of the sour from the margarita with the uh, the bitterness from the beer. So, you know, this is a great one to try. You don't need the clip, I might add. You don't need the clip. You can make it in a regular highball glass. Like, I could make it in this kind of glass if I wanted to. Just throw the beer in upside down, and it would work just the same. And you can also make this drink frozen. Uh, simply make your margarita. Instead of shaking it, take about a cup of ice, throw in with the liquid ingredients, and blend it. Uh, that'll give you, you know the right consistency for that, throw it in that glass, do the same thing with the uh, Coronita, and you'll have a frozen, a frozen version of this. But yeah, that is, it's actually, it looks much more complicated in pictures just because of the beer hanging there, but, uh, and that was actually one of the things that I was most nervous about in filming it, was that I was just going to spill the beer everywhere, I actually tried this one out before I filmed it, and, uh, Hey, I was successful both times, and I call myself an idiot. This is one I think you have to, if you're a margarita fan, you have to try this at least once, see how you like it. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's a fantastic drink. I'm going to finish off this delicious Corona Rita. I want to thank you for watching An Idiot and His Liquor. Subscribe to this page if you like it, and honestly, try this drink out. It really rocks love to hear your comments if you make it differently, if you like it in a different way, how you feel about the drink. Let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Happy drinking.